two. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Hello. Make some good food. Talk about marriage and parenting too. Self care and budgeting and some recipes for life. Yeah. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Hi, everybody. How are you? Look, your dad is always the first one there. Hey, Dad. How are you, everybody? Oh, what a pretty night it is, huh? Um, we have so much in store for you tonight. We want to welcome you to Cooking with Debbie and Friends. It's a little cook and chat show that we film right here in our kitchen with my lovely husband, Travis. Right, every Tuesday and Thursday, for those of you that are new, we do this live show and we stream out to Facebook and YouTube. So if you're on one of those platforms, please say hello in the chat because this show is a chat show. And we stream to those platforms because we can chat with you and better yet, you can chat with each other because Cooking with Debbie is all about spending time with your friends. And... Um, Right. Cool. So ask some questions and, uh, and, and, and pop into the, the chat there. Also share, please share. Share. Um, we've got a couple, a few comments here. One of them, Cindy, um, you, Cindy says, thank God I need a break from the debate. <laughs> so for those of you that are actually not watching the debate right now, um, uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah, first we of were all. nervous. We didn't know if we were going to get people to watch because of the debates yeah, tonight. Yeah. Well, it's a hot that. one. It's a very important one. It is. And um, we're recording it, so um, later I'm just going to fast forward through all the commercials. And uh, also, we're going to watch Colbert because Colbert's going to go live tonight after the debates and talk about uh, what he saw. So, yeah. anyway. There are so, no commercials, by the way. I was there, talking yeah. about when, when one of the people talk, I'm going to forward through that. Stop. <laughs> we, stop. We don't get political on no. Cooking with Debbie and Friends. We agree that everybody loves chocolate and most people hate kale. Well, before we welcome people in, uh, what I want to do is just talk about, I'm really excited about what we're cooking. So, can we at least just say, here's what we're cooking tonight because... Yeah. Least, yeah. All right. So, tonight we're going to make... Um, I'm going to try recipe from Food Network star Jet Tila. He is a, um, a chef, an iron chef, and he has a great recipe for Kung Pao chicken, Kung Pao shrimp. I'm sorry. And I love Kung Pao chicken and Kung Pao shrimp. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, but, you know, sometimes you can't always do takeout. And yeah. takeout can be... A lot of money. Yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> yeah. And you, it's a lot of coordinating. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and some of you may not be feeling safe right now. A lot of places offer outdoor dining. One of our favorite Mexican restaurants uh, locally has outdoor dining, and it was kind of full, and we've got a friend who does outdoor dining a lot. But, but a lot of us, a lot of the people that I'm talking with, are getting takeout and going home. But, you know, there's, it's, it's expensive. Yeah, and you can do it right there in your own home. And I'm going to show you how. We're going to do a couple dishes today. Can we say hi to everybody yes, first? Yes, let's do. So, of course, my dad. Hello. Hello, my dad. Hi, and then there's a Suzanne. Hi, you Suzanne. Wait, Debbie Wheatley Ferguson. Oh, Debbie. Yeah. Hi, Debbie Wheatley Ferguson. And Suzanne, we have some pictures from Suzanne. Yeah. You uh, want to show those right now? Sure. Suzanne, yeah. hang in there. Wait, Cindy Castillo, hello. Yes, you needed a break from the debate. I'm showing um, photos. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Jump to it. This is, we're, we're a little off tonight. Why are we off? Because of uh, the debate. We're, we're, <laughs> we're feeling anxious okay i'm showing these so, beautiful photos aren't of they pizza. beautiful suzanne denlinger and jack made these pizzas so many of you said i'm gonna go get the puff pastry and make it tonight and she did she went and she got it and yeah. um yeah. i guess her first trip she got phyllo dough which wasn't what she needed she needed the puff, puff pastry. pastry yeah so um if you you need to go back if you didn't see that episode go back to last week the puff pastry pizza it's like gourmet homemade oh my god Mwah. beautiful yeah. 
Robert Snow said, oh, hi, Pilar. Robert okay. Snow said, it's like watching an SNL skit. It kind of is, right? <laughs> it kind of They is. look like those old Muppets, you know, the old Muppets in the balcony. And then another thing. Yeah, Hortensia. Um, hi, Hello. Hortensia. And Cynthia, Cynthia Felix. Cynthia Felix, hi. Hello. Oh, um, your dad says, hello, my son. Um, Suzanne, so you said they were yummy and easy. Good. We're so glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot going on today. And this is a recipe that I am pretty excited about. Um, we are going to start with lunch for tomorrow. That's what we're going to do. Cool. Start with lunch for tomorrow. So what I'm going to make is noodles in a jar. Now we've all made the um, ramen noodles. Um, personally, I love a good ramen you mean noodle. mean like the brick? Yeah. Ramen with the, yeah. the sodium yeah. spicy Yeah, or the thing. cup of noodles. And those mm -hmm. are delicious. They are, but they're loaded with sodium. And I it know is. for me, they kick up my blood sugar and they keep it up. And the only vegetables you have are some dehydrated vegetables. And so I'm going to show you how to make your own right here, um, right now. So um, last night, Travis and I had a rotisserie chicken. I made it at home. And so I try to make a chicken like every Monday and then work with the leftovers the rest of the week. So we have a lot of this chicken left over. So what I did is I'm getting these big mason jars. Okay. This is the size of them. You can see with my little hand. I oh, don't go back. Yeah. It was I, too fast. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So we got these. There you go. You want to make one and I'll make one? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. So yeah. what what we did after we made dinner is just put I, I took the chicken and I cut it up into these little um, you want to show the people? Sure. Show the people. All that is is just rotisserie chicken cut up. You can make your own chicken like I do in the oven or you can go ahead and you can um, pick one up at the grocery store. Um, chickens are on sale right now so you can get a whole chicken for like four bucks. So what we're going to do is we each have our little jar and you can custom make these. And I'm just pulling out what I happen to have in my freezer. We also had some corn and some peas last night with dinner. So I pulled those and then I have some frozen carrots, some frozen edamame and some scallions. Now for people that are that are used to pulling out the brick with the packet, uh -huh. they might be a little scared of seeing all these ingredients. Why? I, I don't know. Because the brick is easy. Because I am. <laughs> I'm looking at all this like, okay, what is this? Or what are we making? Is the brick it? is easier. I know. The brick is easier. But this is healthier for you. And it may look like a lot. It may look intimidating. But when you're in your kitchen by yourself, you're not putting everything in cute little bowls. You're just like pulling out the bag and taking what you need. So mm -hmm. remember when this all started with COVID, I said, go fill up your freezer with vegetables cut up vegetables and canned vegetables because you don't need to eat a whole bag of carrots you can take a little bit for a soup for a salad or for your noodles or whatever you don't need to eat a whole bag of edamame you can dress up again a soup a salad or meal um so i hope that you uh, are continuing to buy the food in the freezer section so that's all i did it looks intimidating because of course it's you know I took it all out and I different, put it out. It's here. different stuff though, but I think it's worth noting that if you go get some authentic ramen, you're going to see some other stuff in there. You're not just going to see the uh, the spices and noodles. Right. So what I'm going to start with is a sweet chili sauce. And I got this idea from um, Nadia who, oh gosh, I do not know the name of her. If somebody can fact check me right now, she's on uh, uh, Netflix and I think it's Nadia Cooks to Go or... Oh, um, that's right. Yeah. yeah. She's uh, in England. Do you want to do you want to fact check I, me? I don't right want to do that right now. <laughs> I want to make some food. Okay. I'm hungry. So so her whole thing is is about how to make food so you have more time with your family. So she made a sweet chili sauce from scratch. I don't have that kind of time. So I'm going to put the I bought the bottle and I'm going to put a little sweet chili sauce at the bottom of my thing. You want to put some in yes. yours? Is it hot? No, it's sweet chili. It's, it's But it's chili sauce still. Yeah, but it's like a sweet and chili flavor. Oh, it there looks, you go. It looks delicious. It's kind of like a marmalade. Okay. Yeah, it does Did look I like put a marmalade. Too much? No. Uh -uh. Oh, okay, because I would have put more. You want to put more? Sure. Okay. Do you want to wait and taste it and see? No, because it smells amazing. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. Let me just put a dab more. Just okay. a, a I'll put a little bit more on mine too. Yeah. Because I, I want to line that whole 
the whole bottom of this jar. I don't know if the peeps. I really see it. had good luck, actually. If you have a big lots and you shop at big lots, lots, go down there, gourmet food aisle, gourmet food aisle at big lots, right? Um, uh, <laughs> it's right there by their car section where you can go buy a car. And so, um, um, but Big Lots had oyster sauce, soy sauce, chili paste. They had Frank's hot sauce, you know, so I had really good luck at my Big Lots. Okay. Um, oh, Pilar, thank you. Her name is Nadia Hussein and her show is Nadia's Time to Eat. And uh, thank you, Pilar. Now I'm going to put a little bit of soy sauce at the bottom. Okay. A little soy sauce. Yep. And by the way, we won't be mad at you if you have uh, the debate on open in uh, in the other room. A little we, bit of lime. That... Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a squeeze. Okay. Now you're going to put in some chicken. You can put in chicken. You can put in tofu. You can put in... You know what Nadia put in? She got a pair of kitchen scissors and she cut up um, beef jerky. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. that makes sense because the water will rehydrate oh, sorry. it. sorry, go ahead. I'm going to let you do that since your hands are already... Okay. I did just wash my hands, but... Okay. So we're going to put some chicken there. This, these are big These are big jars, yeah. though. This yeah. is going to be a big meal. I've got big hands, and look how big that jar is. So Yeah. So now we're going to put on our vegetables. There's corn, there's peas, there's carrots, there's... Um, uh, Edamame? So is this like the salad in a jar where it's, everything's upside down? No. And we're going to turn it? No. Okay. I'm just curious. Because if you didn't see the sal salad episode, that fit a lot of salad in that mason jar. And when we turned it upside down, uh, it was like a perfect salad on your plate. I like edamame. Do you want some? You don't yeah, have to. I like edamame. Okay. Um, but I like in... it when I'm at a sushi restaurant eating it out of the pods with the... I'm going to put I in some, missed, some carrots. That. You want some carrots? Sure. These are... Little carrot chunks. Peas. And again, these were just peas and corn that we had last night for dinner. Well, it sure does look pretty. There you go. Peas and some corn. Yeah, and then this is because corn with steamed, some peas. You steamed them together, right? I did. So I'm going to put more because I really like peas. Okay. Yeah, do that. More? No, that's good. Okay. All right. All right. Um, now what are we doing? We're going to put in a little bit of chicken bouillon. This is powder. Yeah, okay. wait, wait, wait. Don't do it yet. Not like, uh, not like the little cubes right. that I thought were candy one time when I was a kid. So here's what we have so far. Do you want to put more chicken in yours? I do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of chicken in that Tupperware that needs to be in my jar. <laughs> I'll put some more in here. Thank you. There we go. Don't forget, tonight's Tuesday, so we're going to pour with Pilar. Oh, that's pour right. with Pilar. And now I've got my rice noodles. Now these you can get at any supermarket. You can get it at, um, uh, I got okay. mine at Sprouts, I believe. You can get them at an Asian market. No, I got these at Vons. Okay. So all these are, are just rice noodles. And you take your rice noodles and, you know, I'm going to let you open that. I'm going to wash my hands. Wash your monos. Okay, I'm going to show, I'm going to show these people what this is. The people. The, the people. So that you can see that is rice noodles. So it's just like really fine pasta, but it's made from noodles, right? Right. Oh, I forgot to put just my pin on. Why are you eating it raw? I can't turn my back I felt on like it was going to be better than that. Forgot. Well, we're going to cook it. Forgot my pin. For those of you that didn't watch in June, June was uh, LBGTQ Appreciation Month. And as a parent of kids in the LBGTQ, Travis and I wear safety pins to let kids know you are safe. All right, so we're going to break these noodles. That's super crunchy, so don't eat it raw. <laughs> I've done it for you, so you don't have to try it. What is wrong with you? I'm just offering right now, you service. Right now, the only person that thinks this is funny is probably Robert Snow. I don't think he does. <laughs> I think he probably thinks I'm an idiot right now. And we're going to go ahead and stick those in. Okay. And you know what, too? This is just kind of fun. This is fun if you're watching, you know, if you've got kids at home and they want to be part of this. And you can put this in this, in your fridge and it can... <laughs> that kind of... Uh, that went everywhere. See it, it kind of exploded that way. So, um, and, uh, you so, know... So fun meals for kids to get to, involved yeah. in, right? So then we're going to put in 
like uh, two teaspoons of bouillon. Wow, that's a okay. Yeah, Is that too much? Oh, hell no! I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing. Why? I'm, don't listen to me about the ingredients. There we go. Okay. All right. Now at this point, we can close these. Okay. And then do what? And then show the people. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, girl. We're a mess tonight. We should not have watched the debate before. We were watching we it right before the debate. Yeah. And I'm ready to fight someone. So Stop it! I'm just saying. Okay, get me a close-up up up here. Show the people. Okay. So this would go a lot faster if you didn't have somebody doing things like tasting the noodles that are dry. So see, can you see what hold, that looks like? Hold, hold it like this so they can see. Okay. So what you've got goodness. in there is you've got your soy sauce, your sweet sauce, your um, vegetables, chicken, and the noodles on top. Now that can go and live in the refrigerator for a couple days. But, um, and no buts. Okay. So. I don't know why we're so off. We're sorry, people. But we are going to make this tonight, right? We're going to make one of them tonight. The other one we can put in the in the fridge. Okay. I'm going to put mine in the fridge because okay. that might take us for lunch tomorrow. Okay. If that's delicious. Yes. Um, can you turn on the water for hot water? Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to uh, chat if you're there. I feel like there are a why lot of... Why don't we do, why don't we do the like pouring with Pilar? Of people, we will. Well, yeah, a lot of people, you're probably watching, you're smart and you're watching this later. Yeah. Haley, hi, sweetheart. Hi, baby. Um, um, so, 100% um, Travis, I'm ready to fight someone, too, but back to the cooking to save our sanity. Yes. Well, what Travis told me, too, is don't forget, people are going to be watching the show afterwards. And you know what? Um, as somebody who's home during the day and there's a lot of news and some news is heavy, you do, you get tired of it. You just get tired and you need respite and you need people to come into your kitchen like us and say, hey, let's cook and have some fun. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, so yeah, let's let's all just give ourselves a little. So take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Let's do one more. Okay. All right. That is proven to lower your blood pressure, by the way, and it helps get rid of the stress. So if you're in a in a, um, a stressful situation, like watching a debate, or in traffic, or at work, or whatever, just take a moment for some right. self care. Big deep breath and blow out, right. and that should help a little bit at right. least. And this is what this meal is about. Yeah, you could go get a cup of ramen noodles, but that's what this meal is about. It's about taking care of yourself, and. Um, that's what we want to do. Before we go any further, can we point out the flowers because they are oh, so really gorgeous. Beautiful. Our flowers, as always, are from Fadi's Florist right here in Azusa. And they're absolutely beautiful. And she did a beautiful autumn fall kind of thing, fall yep. arrangement. Just uh, In the description, please click her, uh, her link and check her out on Instagram um, because they do really great work there. And they're just so sweet, just such great people. Yeah. I think uh, Debbie Wheatley Ferguson went yeah. there Debbie Wheatley. and picked up some flowers right. too. Yeah. So All thank right. you for supporting local businesses because that's what this show is about, connecting right. with your local community. So. What are you doing right there? Uh, <laughs> Our dog, I didn't lock our dog. Pilar, that's your job. <laughs> We're all a mess. Okay, okay, but Pilar's over there in the next room. She's waiting for us to go throw to her. Yep. So while Pilar is um, telling you about, she's gonna start talking with you about immunities because this is the time of the season. We have to take care of ourselves. So, because nobody else is. Um, we should have exactly. not watched the debate before we <laughs> Seriously, I feel like breaking something. <laughs> so we do. We've got to keep up. Yeah, on a serious note, take care of yourself. If you have diabetes, watch your sugar. If you have high blood pressure, watch your high blood pressure. If you have breathing situations, do your breathing exercises. We have to stay healthy. We have to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And it starts with you at home. And wear your mask. Wear your mask and stay soapy. So we are going to go to our segment of Boring with Pilar. And she's going to extend what she talked about last Tuesday where she introduced you to black tea and green tea. Mm -hmm. So, um, there you go. Oh. So, you ready? Here we go, Pilar. skiddly doo dee -da doo dow ba dee dow dee Pouring with Pilar. She's a barista. Hi everybody, welcome back to Pouring with Pilar. 
I'm Pilar and this is my bar and today we are talking again about teas but because we're entering cold and flu season we're going to be talking about two immunities. We are going to be making a warm soothing cup of echinacea and then a spiced masala chai which is kind of like saying ATM machine because masala it means spice, chai means tea so I'm saying a spiced spiced tea tea. <laughs> So we're going to be making an echinacea and a spice spice tea tea. All right, let's get started with our echinacea because it is like the most known tea for busting colds. It reduces your chances of getting a cold by about 50% and then studies prove that it actually reduces the duration of your cold by 50% as well. And because echinacea is a flower, it is a like floral tea, there's no caffeine in it so it's perfect to make right before bed. So I have my cup, but I'm gonna be adding a couple extra ingredients just to boost its immune boosting properties. I'm gonna be adding a cinnamon stick, and then I have in here about a pinch, well more than a pinch, I'm very generous with my pinches, a pinch of ginger and turmeric, because those are really good for fighting inflammation and aiding in healthy digestion. I'm gonna add my water first to let that sit, and then I'm gonna add my honey. That way I can stir it without the tea bag really getting in the way. I'm gonna stir it with my cinnamon stick. Now I love honey. I think I've mentioned this before, but I really like raw honey because raw honey has a lot of antioxidants. I know I say that word a lot, but it has a lot of antioxidants, which is really good for keeping your immune system up. Let's uh, take shots every time I say immune system. We'll take shots of tea. We'll let it cool first. So I'm adding a little bit of lemon in there now I'm gonna add my tea bag. And this guy can brew for about five to seven minutes, and then you can take the tea bag out. Now, echinacea, I'm on level with you guys because we're friends. Echinacea does not have the best taste. <laughs> so that's why sometimes I like to add different kinds of tea bags. I'll even add um, a sleepy time tea bag because that lavender has a really, really good complement with the floral notes of the echinacea. All right, I'm gonna let this dude sit over here by his lonesome. And now I'm gonna work on the chai tea. I love the tea tea. I love chai. And one of my favorite chai is actually the spice chai because it's flavored with things like cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, uh, even sometimes black pepper because that black pepper also helps reduce the inflammation and helps with your digestion. So same thing, a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of ginger. Am I saying that? Do you say turmeric or turmeric? I'm pretty sure it's not turmeric. Okay, turmeric. And then I'm gonna be adding the same thing. A little bit of my hot water and then the honey. Okay, and I add the honey in after the hot water just so it's easier for me to stir. Now, chai tea is made with black tea leaves, which means it has caffeine, so you're not gonna to wanna to drink this late at night. You're gonna to wanna to drink this on busy mornings. Sometimes you can swap it with your coffee or sometimes you can add it to your coffee. Alrighty, and as that brews, it's gonna get a little bit darker. I'm gonna leave room for milk because if you're not sick and you're just drinking this to keep your immune system boosted, where's my milk? It's really good with milk. So today I'm adding a little bit of the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And that only needs to brew for about five minutes. Oh no. <laughs> do you guys ever lose the little thing in your tea? Because I do all the time and it makes me sad. So I'm gonna pull these two teas. We're gonna sit them back together. <laughs> and there you go. Now you have two teas in your arsenal, your arsenal of tea, that you can go to anytime you're not feeling well. Again. Echinacea, you're gonna wanna drink this if you're not feeling well. If you have a fever, if you have kind of a sniffle or a cough, this is gonna be really, really good for you. The lemon and the cinnamon really brings up the flavor so it's not as bitter and medicinal tasting. The chai tea, chai is good anytime, well, anytime you want caffeine, but those spicy notes are really, really good with the milk and you're gonna wanna drink it um, throughout the day just to keep your immune system up. It's really important right now that you stay safe, you stay healthy, and that you take care of yourself because it starts with you just being healthy and we appreciate you guys so, so much. So thank you for watching and stay soapy. Bye.
Skiddly doo deedly doo da ba dee da dee. Pouring with Pilar. She's a barista. Thank you, Pilar. Thank you, Pilar. That, that was, was really great. Good. Oh my gosh. So, um, I boiled some water while we were over there. I'm going to go get it right now. And I'm going to take my boiled water. And chai tea is my favorite too, Suzanne. Oh. It's really good. So I'm going to put my... Especially in the winter. I'm putting my boiled water right into my mason jar with my noodles. Now, there is a way to close this mason jar up, but don't do it because your, noodle, your glass could break. There could be an accident. Oh you don't want to close it all the way. You're filling that up there though, and too. And cap it. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to um, fill it up and cap it. Okay. You can close it. So you that can... bullion is probably starting to get in with uh -huh. the rest of it. The... So that's all I'm going to do. Did you yeah, see what I did? It. Yeah, because that is really really hot. hot. So you can eat it right out of the jar, which we're going to take a little taste after it sits there. So all that's doing is that's cooking. That water in there is cooking up the noodles and the um, the veggies, veggies and it's the meat. the meat. And so, but the fun thing is storing it in the fridge. So we will try that in a little bit. It's just going to be working its magic. So all now. I would need tomorrow is just some hot water. And if you've got a hot water, hot cold water cooler, that hot water gets hot enough to make tea and coffee. It'll make this. Right. But be careful. Don't hang on to your glass. Yeah. Yeah. So take a pot holder because <laughs> I'll burn myself. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, these are fun too that if you did dinner for the whole family, everybody could have their own and or if you have lunch. But the cool thing is it can stay in your your fridge for three three days, you know? So, um uh let's make some kung pao shrimp. Let's make some kung pao shrimp. Now, you guys, we gotta do this fast. We can't be distracted. I'm getting texts from my friend Cindy Nelson. Who's watching the debates? Cindy Nelson Sherwood, who's watching the debates. Okay. And so she's texting me. Yeah. And so we understand. It's it's a weird night. Um, speaking of which, in um, uh, you know a month from today, almost a month from today, we'll be well. Actually, voting season is right now. Voting yeah. season is now. Um, if you, I think in Cali where we are, it starts on the third. And so voting season is now, and the way I see it is a pumpkin latte can have its own fricking season. So can something as important as voting. Yep. So if you are voting early, you can start, you know, as early as some people are voting now. And so it's a, it's a big deal. And we know voting night is going to be a big night and we're just going to launch our show with a, with a tape, encouraging everybody to, Keep their cool and their wits about them and pack your patience yeah. if you go vote in person and we won't be uh, live that night. Also, um, remember this because you might not know this. If you go with anything on your shirt that has something uh, against uh, uh, one of the, I, w I almost want to say opponents, one of the candidates, if you have anything, um, the, the people at the voting booths can send you home. They can if they feel like what you're trying to do is sway people one way or the other. You're not there to change anyone's mind. You're there to vote. So please keep that in mind when you show up. Don't show up in a, you know, F so-and-so or RGB shirt or anything like that. Just go and vote. That's good to know. Because they will send you home if they feel like you're trying to uh, make people feel uncomfortable. That's good to know. So have your voting plan in place now. Um, I am going to vote uh, by mail. Travis likes to go and do it in person. Pilar is going to do it in person. So they, we have three people in one family doing it a couple different ways, but at least we have our plan. All right. So Ooh, those noodles right? are nice and soft. Yeah. All right. So this is going to happen really, really, really quickly. Okay. Let me tell you the cast of characters. Here I have um, some red bell pepper and some chopped onions. First of all, we have this big wok. This man makes me crazy. Um, Which we, I'm heating up. Okay, so the cast of characters includes red bell pepper and chopped onion. I've got some cornstarch and some um, chicken broth that I'm going to make a slurry. I've got some rice vinegar. I've got some sesame oil, scallions, oyster sauce, um, red Asian sauce. It's a hot sauce. You can get a particular one, and if you look at um, Jet Tila's recipe, it has the name of the sauce. He says, or any Asian 
hot sauce. Um, some cashew pieces, about two thirds cups of some cashew pieces, some garlic, and this is Serrano chili. Now you can use a um, chili de uh, chili de arbol, which is a hot, hot chili. I couldn't find it at Sprouts. I couldn't find it at Vons. I'm sure if I went to El Super. Uh, I would have found it, but in the scale of chilies, okay. this is right between a jalapeno and the chili de arbol. So this- It's a little hotter than a jalapeno. A little hotter than a yeah. jalapeno, but not as hot as the chili but de arbol. But that's what Kung Pao is supposed to be. It's supposed to be that spicy. Right, right. So okay. you know my thing on spice. If if you can always add to make it hotter, but there's very few things you can do to make that's it slow. hot. So, here we go. This is gonna be so, so fast. The first thing you have to do is toast the chili. I already did that. How you toast a chili is you get a knife and you flatten one edge, you rub a little bit of oil on it, and then you put it on your cast iron grill for just a few minutes on each side and you char it. So I already did that. I roasted the chili. Use your gloves because this chili does, the oil does stay on your hands. So All you right. don't wanna get it in your contacts. Or right, your so face. you need to go put some vegetable oil this okay. is the vegetable oil, about three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And you're going to throw it in there in the hot pan. And then this is going to go so fast, everybody. Ready, baby? Um, yes. Okay, we've got cashews. Cashews. Chili. So this is all going in at the same time. Yes. Garlic. Three cloves of garlic. And you're going to stir it for a minute. Got that? Okay, yep. So he's stirring that for one minute. Okay, this is a 14 inch wok. It's pre-seasoned and um, it's got a lot of room in there. So if you're not, if you don't have a wok and you want to invest in one, get a nice big one because this one is going to be, uh, this one's going to be used a lot here. This is fairly new to our kitchen. Oh, that looks good. All right. Now, after he did that, we're going to throw in 25 large shrimp that have been, uh, they have no tails and they're deveined. It's right there. So I can already get a, a hint, a big <laughs> face full of that pepper um, and that garlic. So the shrimp are just going to take moments to cook. So now you just need like one minute with the shrimp. How are you doing back there? Good. Okay. All right. So the shrimp start, should start to pink up on you? Yep. Okay, good. Now, I want you to put in one medium onion and one uh, red bell pepper cut into strips. So that's ready to go. Okay. There you go. So the onion and the red bell pepper went in and one third cup of oyster sauce. And there's a little spat right there if you want to. I told you, baby, we're going to be doing a lot. Fast. While he's doing that, I've got my chicken broth and my cornstarch, and I am going to be making a little slurry here. You can use water if you like. How are you doing back there? Good. I've Good. got it on medium heat. Okay. Now this so, is the big burner. So now I need the fun. now put in the Asian chili paste. Even though I'm not done turning the oyster sauce, or does it matter? Yeah. No, they can go in together. Okay, They're friends. Ready. They're friends. They can go in together. How's the debate going, people? I gotta ask, how is it going? One of my friends just tested me right in the middle of the show. I hate this mf -er. <laughs> Okay, this oyster sauce and the, the chili, what was that chili? Was that the same chili? That's just an Asian chili. No, that Asian chili is spicy. It's not sweet at all. Okay, um, this smells amazing. It smells like Kung Pao already. Okay, And uh, then all I did is I put in the cornstarch with a little bit of um, like a quarter cup of uh, chicken, broth. Or chicken broth. That goes in. Okay. Also, while I'm cooking, I have one side of my sink filled with, I thought it was filled, filled with soapy water so I can just drop all that in there. So he's doing that. Now uh, cook it for about a minute. Okay, I'm turning this up a little higher because okay. I think with all that wet, in there, I want it to get a little hotter on that. You want, it, you want your wok to be very hot though, too. We want heat. Oh, um, that looks good. Uh, heat rice. Get some rice okay. on there. I agree with the MF. <laughs> oh my 
gosh. You know, I guess it's not a surprise. I try to keep this show non-political, but um, I guess people's politics do come out. So um, I do try to, to when, like I said, when it comes to the show, I like to keep it about the food. Well, we're but I think it there's, neutral. Yeah, we do keep it neutral. But I think on a night like tonight, it is just a little, you know, things are hard. Things are hard. People like me have lost my job. And um, people like Travis got his job back after six weeks, but it wasn't the same. I've had dear friends. You know I've had dear friends who had COVID. And um, it's just, it's a tough time for everybody. And this is why we're cooking at home every night, you know? And I thank God for my husband for producing this show for me because I'm, I don't know what I'd be doing without it. Right here, I've got a little tiny baby bit like a half a teaspoon of sesame oil. A little Ooh. sesame oil goes a long way. And scallions. Are you okay? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, um, there's some spice in the air back here. I wish I got where, these, where did you get all these tiny little bowls? I got them all at, um, Bed Bath & Beyond. Again, it takes a long time for me to, to get all this done, but seriously, if you were making this dinner, it would take you moments, because basically, you're just cutting and putting stuff in there. I mean, I cut and put it in the different bowls, but you wouldn't do that. Um, how you doing? This, this is really smelling so amazing. Yeah? Yes. Is it okay, ready? So the shrimp doesn't look like, you know, it's still got that light pinkness, so it's not really overcooking at all. Um, what I'm looking for right now are the peppers. Are the peppers softening up? Because that's that's an indicator. You're probably that not going to eat. You're going to eat around the peppers. No, no, the, the bell peppers. Oh, the bell peppers, yeah. yeah. That's really what I'm waiting for yeah. to soften, and then I think it'll probably be done. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take my noodle jar here. Remember, there's one in the refrigerator for tomorrow. Get a fork. And you remember, your spices are at the bottom. You had some chili paste, some sweet and sour, and you had some um, Do you want a bowl to pour soy that in? sauce. You can pour it into a bowl at this point, because it is a little hard to eat out of a... Thank you, love. Should we even have been on the air tonight, you guys? Yes, because people are going to watch it after they're done. Yeah. With the UFC match. Yeah. Um. Here, I feel like this is probably about ready. Okay. Go ahead and turn it over onto the rice. The jar is hot. <laughs> oh, did you... Did you burn yourself? No. Okay. Uh, Debbie Wheatley, yes. Disneyland is laying off 28,000 people. You know, screw it. I guess we can't be partisan. You know, there are a lot of people hurting. There are a lot of people hurting, and people knew. People knew that we would be hurting. We would be dying. We would lose our jobs. There are people that are, you know... Um, quarantined with people they don't get along with. Um, the abuse level is high, divorce level is high. And um, so I guess that's why we're a little bit of a mess tonight. So sometimes we need you more than you need us, so. Well, I'm gonna show the people this. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. And it smells. It smells great. Exactly like what you would expect Kung Pao to smell like. And we made mm. it right here. In our kitchen. In this kitchen. So easy. Very I fast. Mean, yes. Yes. With everything you had right here. Yeah. So do you want to taste the noodles? They look a little hot. I want to try everything. <laughs> All right. Yes. That um, looks a little hot. I'm going to try this one first. Okay. So let me get a um, let me get a little, little base of, of rice. I don't think we're sharing food tonight so we can eat out of the same one. Yeah. And then... Uh, I'm going to have to come back for one of those peppers because I'm going to eat that whole pepper just. Are you cheering? Cheers. Cheers. Oh! There aren't that many things that I don't like I, I, in the, that we make in this kitchen. This is definitely already one of my favorites. <clears throat> That's spicy, right? Oh, hot. So I really, really like spicy dishes. Mm -hmm. This is spicy. So if you use the same exact ingredients that Debbie did, mm -hmm. you're going to get a spicy dish. It is delicious. And I am a big baby when it comes to spice. But and that is delicious. fantastic. Yeah. 
That is I want to really, keep eating, but that's yeah. rude, and you guys are probably That wishing. is really good. Now, if I was making this for a dinner party, I'd probably throw some scallion on top of it and maybe a little bit more of the cashews. Um, when you're cooking with cashews, um, please note if your recipe states if they can be salted or not, because if they're salted and you add more salt, it can be a disaster. So this particular one, I could use salted. So. I did that one time when I didn't know what I was doing yeah. at, at, at a Chinese... Restaurant. That is so delicious. I can't wait to eat that. I was so excited when we even started this show because yeah. we're making that. Because uh, Kung Pao is already one of my favorite dishes. I really love shrimp and seafood in general. But knowing that we were going to make it here, uh, this is a game changer. It really was so easy. You probably have a lot of this stuff in your fridge. And even if you don't, if you want to start experimenting with um, Asian cooking, you should have some oyster sauce and some... Um, sweet sauce and some hot sauce in your fridge the asian variety isn't so, it um when you eat noodles you're supposed to slurp it i'm not gonna I'm go not ahead gonna, baby. Though. okay i'm gonna make a mess here there's okay. just no way around it your daddy wants some you're gonna get some of this you chicken, chicken? Mm -mm. what'd you think of it pilar um a lot of times we'll put a raw egg in this too and because she likes egg you can do spam you can do tofu you can do chicken this was just from our dinner last night the rotisserie chicken what did you think very honestly i think it's a, a, a wonderful dish i think that kung <laughs> pao ruined my palate yeah because now all I want is that Kung Pao. This is really good. It's not as... Um, That's it's, not as spicy. It's not as spicy. In, so you can add to this. You can add soy sauce. You can add more hot sauce. You know, just figure it out as you go, as you're making these jars for yourself. Remember, you don't want to close your jar. You want to make sure it's a heavy-duty jar. You can um, put the hot water right in. I wouldn't do it right out of the fridge. <laughs> let it come yeah, up like to room glass, temperature. Unless it's a, um, a glass that's... Capable of high heat. Or you can absolutely dump it over into a bowl now, and then put the hot water. One thing to note about this I think is important is I was kind of expecting with those big two tablespoons of uh, yeah. bouillon, I was expecting that same amount. Two teaspoons. Of, uh, two teaspoons. I was expecting that, that same amount of spice that you would get from that packet because that is very strong. Yeah, but that's a lot of chemicals it really in that is. package. So, so in fairness, I think this is a really good dish. You could try some of the hot sauce, some of the Asian hot sauce in here. Oh, I would do that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So you can doctor this up. Pilar um, might throw an egg in there. Mm -hmm. I just said that. Scallops, oh. yum. Yeah, you can put scallops. You know what, Cynthia? We're doing scallops um, Thursday. We're doing scallops. Yep, scallops over pasta. And I'm going to do a dessert because I haven't done a dessert in a while. So hopefully we will have our heads on straight and we will... We are doing fine. Everyone's fine. Here's what I want to say about this. Because I talked to my... I've got a good friend, Brad, who is really like... He's tense. I'm tense at times. Debbie's tense. We're all really tense about this. But, but in reality, you guys, what we're really doing here is we're using our voice... We need to be making our, our votes not based on ideology, not based on, you know, the history. We need to be making our, our choices right now based on love and compassion, mm -hmm. based on humanity and equality for all, not just for those that, that are in, in favor right now. So this is as political as I'm going to get, but I'm going to say this. I implore you all to reach into your hearts and when you cast that, that ballot, when you cast your vote on that ballot, do it from a place of compassion and love and think about humanity as a whole because that's what's missing right now. Why there seems to be so little oxygen in the air, why everyone feels so desperate mm. for something more and change because we're seeing a, a big vast void of compassion and humanity and we just need to get back to that. That's why this show is so important to mm -hmm. us. It's why you all here on our feed, the, the screen below this camera, that are making comments is so vital to who we are and to each other, hopefully. Because this show is t trying to take one moment, one evening, and say, let's make a meal together. 
Let's show each other some love. Let's laugh together and let's start it all over tomorrow. Right, because no matter who winds up in the White House, we have to take care of ourselves and each other. So knock on your neighbor's doors. Know who lives next door or down the street. Know if somebody could use some groceries or a meal or um, just a, a, to walk their dog. Whatever they need. No, reach outside yourselves like this show does. You know, we're always thinking about who we can help next. And so again, no matter if your guy or the other guy gets into the White House, it starts here at home. And what this pandemic has taught us is that we have to really care for each other. Mm -hmm. Get involved in your community. Get involved on your street with your family. Get involved there first. You don't have to go save the world. None of us are capable of doing that individually. But together we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. So you still have time to register. This is voting season. Remember, pumpkin latte can have a voting uh, season. So can voting. Make a plan. Help somebody vote. Um, you know, help get them to the polls. Remember what Travis said about any kind of clothing that you might wear that they might say, oh, and you have to turn around and go wait in that line again for a couple hours. Um, thank you for letting us in. Thank you for forgiving all of our guffaws tonight. We just did not have our heads on straight. Um, we were fine. <laughs> we were fine. Make some Kung Pao chicken. It is great. Shrimp. I'm sorry, Kung Pao shrimp. I bet you could do the same thing with chicken. It just oh, is going to no take doubt. a little bit longer. Um, remember, this recipe was from Jet Tila, the Food Network chef and the Iron Chef. He's got some great videos, little like two, three minute videos, and he makes the Asian cooking seem so much easier. You just need to stock your pantry with like three or four sauces that are imperative. So, mwah. We love you guys more than you'll ever know. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Cooking with Debbie and friends. Bye, Bye everybody. <laughs> now let's go watch the debate. Let's.